Hi, I'm going to use Newton's laws as applied to circular motion in order to determine the acceleration and forces in this physical situation. So you have this toy car that's going around a loop-de-loop, -loop, and we know that the car has a speed of three meters per second. It's at the top of this loop-de-loop, -loop, and it has the, the loop itself has a radius of 25 centimeters, or converting that to SI units, 0.25 meters. And we know that the mass of the toy car is equal to 130 grams, or again, converting to SI units of kilograms, uh, 0 0.130 kilograms. Okay, so based on this data, again, I'm gonna calculate the acceleration and the forces on this uh, this toy car. Okay, so the we as usual start with a free body diagram uh, when we're using Newton's laws. So this car has a mass. It we it's implicit that this occurs on or near the surface of the Earth. So it has a weight force. So weight force due to the Earth on the car, and it's on a track that will exert a normal force on it. It could also exert a friction force, but uh, we're gonna assume that you know there's no engine here or brakes, so we're not gonna worry about friction forces. So there's a normal force directed perpendicular to the surface. Normal force exerted by the track on the car. And I actually don't know in advance how big to draw it. Uh, as it turns out, it, uh, of course I did the work in advance, it's gonna be bigger. So a normal force from the track on the car. Okay, now it's tempting to try to get some sort of upward force or maybe a velocity to the side or anything, but uh, really these are the, the two by far the biggest forces on, on the car. This is it. Okay, so um, next thing I want to think about is the direction of the acceleration and the net force. Well, the acceleration is towards the center of that circle. It's moving in a circle. The acceleration, okay, as an aside, this isn't part of the free body diagram, but uh, the acceleration is down, and therefore the vector sum of the forces has to be down. And that should be pretty obvious with the free body diagram. Um, again, this, this is a little bit counter to our physical intuition, which suggests that there has to be something holding it up, but there, but there really isn't. Okay, so I can calculate the magnitude, I know the direction of the acceleration is down. The magnitude can be calculated using this formula. So for circular motion, it's the speed squared over the radius, so 3 squared over 0.25. The centripetal acceleration, okay, directed towards the center of the circle, is 36 meters per second squared. Okay, so I've got the acceleration, uh, which is down towards the center of that circle. Now I just need to calculate these forces. The weight force is easy. Uh, just do W equals mg. So W is 0.13 times 9.8. And I throw that into my calculator, and it tells me that it's 1.27 newtons. Okay, down. Okay, so I'm two-thirds of the way there. I got the acceleration. I've got the weight, which I calculated directly. And last thing is to calculate this normal force. So with, in this situation, everything is pointing down. Normal force down towards the center of the circle, weight force down towards the center, acceleration, net force, everything, all these vectors are down. So I'm gonna have towards the center of the circle be the positive direction. I mean, you often will have down as negative, but uh, I'm gonna have the down towards the center of that circle be in the positive direction. And so uh, the summation of the centripetal forces will be the mass times the centripetal acceleration. And then I have a normal force directed towards the center, so which I've called positive. Weight force towards the center, also positive, equals ma. And then I just need to solve for the normal force. So normal would be ma minus w. And we just need to, to throw in the numbers in order to get the normal force. So the normal force will be a mass of 0.13 times the acceleration which I calculated earlier is 36, and minus the weight force of 1.27. And I throw those things into my calculator, and it tells me the normal force is 3.41 newtons.
Okay, and of course it's directed uh, down. Okay, that's it. So I've got the acceleration, uh, I calculated the weight force, and I calculated the normal force based on uh, this information for a toy car going around the loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, thanks for watching.